what three artists have influenced my musicality the most? I think my three artists that have mostly influenced my gospel artistry will be Yolanda Adams, Kiki Shear, and Donnie McClurkin. Yolanda Adams, I would say um, her first album to me had an old school feel. I love her natural style as far as elegance is concerned. Um, every time she's on making an appearance or um, in, gospel, in the gospel industry or even in the natural industry, she has always had this elegance and style and class um, about her. And she's also anointed um, in music. Um, sweet personality from what I can see. I never met her personally. Um, but from what she portrays, um, she definitely has that personality um, of humility, if you would say, that needs to be, that can only be respected in, like, the gospel music industry. I would say Kiki Share because she has a new school feel as well as, like, an old school uh, feel. Um, she knows where she's going, but she also knows where she's been. She grew up, she's like a millennial, so she grew up in the era of old school as well as new school. So she knows how to adapt to the new environment, but she also doesn't forget her roots. So I respect that about Kiki Shear's um, musicality and her artistry. Um, I would say Donnie McCurkin. Who doesn't love Uncle Donnie? Who doesn't love Uncle Donnie? Um, he is anointed, like the anointing bunk gifted but he is anointed he has the oil of the lord there has not been a time where i have never saw uncle donnie as he's affectionately called minister and and not set people free or not um make people think about you know what they can get through um as far as gospel music i feel like gospel music and r&b or different genres of music should have some type of distinctiveness or difference um and just the way people feel, um, because gospel music can affect you naturally and spiritually. So I think that Donnie McClurkin does that uh, both with, he can affect people naturally as well as spiritually. And you can always feel something when he ministers. So um, that's my main you know, goal as well as being a gospel artist is always getting the gospel, um, that message across to um, whoever my audience is, is making sure they can feel the lyrics and feel exactly what I'm singing, mainly because we're singing about God. Um, second question, if you had not been a music maker, what would you be and why? I, as a black female, have a very passionate love for customer service, right? I think if I had not chosen to be a music maker, I probably would find a career somewhere in customer service. Um, I'm a strickler on good customer service. I really enjoy when people can provide, um, especially black owned businesses, um, because they have this reputation of them not being able to provide good customer service. So I would make it my business to kind of change that perception for people who don't really support black businesses and why and just give them some type of different perspective um, on black business in particular customer service um, so I definitely will probably make a career out of training customer service training creating programs hiring people to go to corporate businesses and things of that nature to do like two to three week training programs to provide customer service training um, just so that company um, can provide to their customers great customer service. If you notice as a customer, you always, always, always want good customer service. It sometimes doesn't even matter if the product is wrong. If the customer service is great, then you can always guarantee that customer coming back. So if I wasn't a music maker, and which I really love, um, I definitely would take up a career in customer service. That is definitely what I would do um, with my life. Uh, but we all know that my purpose is called to ministry and music making in the gospel music industry. Thank you so much for this opportunity and I hope you enjoy my response.